Hey guys, welcome back to Canon Fast Reviews. Uh, this is a, another lens um, that has the dreaded oily aperture. This time we have a Nikon uh, 20 or sorry, uh, 105 Um This is the AI version. Um, now just just a quick thing on this lens. Um, this is, in my opinion, this in the AIS is one of uh, Nikon's best um, portrait lenses. I actually prefer the 105 focal length a little bit better um, than um, the 135 mil, even though I prefer the photos of 135. I find it very difficult to work with. 85 mil, absolutely one of my favorite lenses. It's easy to use and it gives great pictures. Um, and the 105 is still easier to use, but at 2.5, this lens is a serious portrait lens in my opinion. It gives amazing blur and very sharp. So, but anyways, we are gonna fix the dreaded oily aperture on this thing. As you can see, F22, yeah. So, it's gone. It's in there. Um, but it's, 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 it's locked up. So, we are going to do this. Now, it's not that difficult of a job, um, but, um, but it does, it does have some tricky spots. So, um, we're going to start into this, um, and you don't need many tools. I think this is all we really need is a spanner, a nose picker, um, flathead, and we might need more, but I don't remember. Um, what you can do is, I've said this a thousand times, if you want to watch my other videos, I show how to do it. You can take tape and roll it up so it's sticky side out, put it on here, and use that to take the cap, uh, the, uh, faith, uh, the name plate out. I'm just going to use this. I got these off of eBay. You take a spanner. Now, I say this a thousand times. Um, if you if you don't touch the elements um, or blow on them too bad and spit on them, you don't have to clean them. So be very careful. Just try and set the elements aside, and be very careful you don't touch them because if you don't touch them, you don't have to clean them. Uh, you're gonna bring the focus all the way up, and right there, there's a little screw hole. It tucks in when the focus is down. I'm gonna pull it all the way out and then screw it back in just a touch. Um, just so I don't lose the screw. And I think I should, yeah, I can take this off just like this. Now, the entire aperture assembly is gonna come out of here. Again, your elements are bare right there. This one's a bit deeper, that's nice, but your elements are bare, so don't touch inside there. If you don't touch them, you don't have to clean them. Boom. So we can set this aside, and uh, I just gotta remember how I do this. So yeah, the first thing we need to do is we got three screws along here. There's red um, glue on them. Leave that glue alone. Um, don't scratch it off because we're actually gonna use that to guide us aligning everything up later. I'll show you that later when we get there. So we need uh, Phillips. Big, big thing is you gotta make sure you're pushing in hard. You don't wanna strip these. If you strip these screws, you're screwed. <laughs> it's super difficult to um, get them out later. So you wanna make sure you're doing a lot of force because it's also glued like crazy and so they can be super tight. All right, uh, so now we are gonna go into the back. Um, uh, let me just see if we're recording. Yeah. So, um, one thing that I like to use, you might be able to do it by hand, but uh, just the, this is just a jar lid opener. Um, I love using these things. I'm just going to put this on the elements and turn them off. Okay, there we go. Makes it life a lot easier. Um, so the nice thing about, I, I hate doing uh, telephoto lenses uh, because typically you have to go through the rear to doing everything, um, but this is like, 
<laughs> it's almost like a, a mid-range lens because you can pull the elements and, and the aperture and go through the rear but outside of the lens where usually big lenses you go through the back. I hate that. But this is not that bad. <laughs> so I like these lenses. Um, so now we ended those three screws. We're going to be able to pull this ring out of here. And um, then there's there's a spring here. You're gonna, and then a, a post coming up. You're going to undo it off the post. Okay. Um, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to show you guys something. Actually, maybe I'll show you when I uh, get there. It's just loading this. Um, how you want to load this. I'll show you guys that later. So we're going to set that aside. And there's the beginning of the oil already. Um, then, so I'm going to kind of guide you through this slowly, step by step. So you're going to take note, this ring is going to come out of here now. You're going to take note, let's say, let me see if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. So you see how this curves down? This rides on that. So it curves down. So we're going to remember that it's from this post here, which moves. Oh man, that aperture. Look at that. Look at the oil. Um, so this just moves back and forth in here, but it's going to, how do we remember this so I can show you guys later? Because this ring comes out and you can, if you flip it the wrong way, it's the wrong. So let's say it goes from, on the left hand side, we'll call this left hand side, this is the bottom here. Um, so it's, it's a slight arch and then a sharp curve. And so if you, I'll just pop this out and I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can pull this ring out. Look at the oil. Yikes. So, yeah, so when we put this back in, I'm just showing you this because when you put it back in, if you put it this way, it's not going to work, okay? So it has to be this way down. So it's sharp arch and gentle arch to the top, just sharp at the bottom with the post on the left. Makes sense. All right. Um, then, as soon as we take this next ring out, our aperture is going to be right there and bare. So, take this out. Look at all that oil. That's why it's hung up. And there's our blades. So, now the blades stack, like most lenses, they're stacking, pointing to the right. So, pointing clockwise, and then when we put them back together, we're going to be stacking them counterclockwise, and then I'll show you how to do that. So, I'm using 70% uh, rubbing alcohol. You can use 90, whatever. And I just fill up a little pill bottle, just a little bit, and uh, put my blades right in there. I give it a jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna swab everything down a lot. We gotta get rid of all this oil. Uh, alcohol, uh, uh, what is it, I guess, destroys. <laughs> it breaks down the oil, and then you can wipe it off. So we're gonna swab everything and dry it all off. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna keep shaking these things. Take my nose pickers and dry these off. All right, there's our blades. Now we gotta go wash our hands because we are dirty people. Um, it's just that all that oil all over our hands, like I, it's, it, I can tell there's oil on my hands even though they seem fairly clean. You want to go wash your hands. So go wash your hands right now. I'm not moving until you wash your hands. Go. Alright, just kidding. Alright, I'm going to go wash though because I'm dirty. I'll be right back.